Welcome to my Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Life Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took down Nurmik City's gym leader, and we obtained our seventh badge. In today's episode, we're going to make our way through the next route, and hopefully make our way to the next gym. So we're here in Route 512, and this is going to take us to Iron Nem City, and I'm guessing that is where the next badge is going to be. Yes, this definitely does seem like the right way. Also, thank you guys for all your tips. You guys are absolutely amazing. It looks like we're going to have a battle, so, you know, go ahead and give this video a like while we're taking on this first challenger. Okay, with that, you might also remember that last time we obtained the TM Water Pulse. And apparently, Water Pulse is going to be used to extinguish fires. So, it is another HM-like TM. I don't know when exactly it is that we're going to have the chance to use it. But I'm guessing that it's probably going to be soon. Because that seems to be what's going on around here. It looks like we're going to have another battle, though. So, let's take them on. I must say, it is pretty handy having a really strong electric type going, because there seems to be a lot of battles here on this route. Okay, let's keep on going through this route then. There seems to be honestly a lot of trainers. I didn't really expect there to be this many. I'm trying to skip over as many as I can, but it looks like they are kind of making us take some of these. Let's go ahead and check this out though. What is this? I thought there was going to be an item or something hidden here, but I guess not. That's kind of weird that they would actually put this here. I don't know why then. Let's keep on going upwards though. I think we're really close to Ironem City. That sounds so weird. Let's keep on going though. And with that, we have made it to Ironem City, guys. And it looks like this city is going to be full of what? Steel type Pokemon? I mean, that would make a whole lot of sense, honestly. We have arrived at Ironem City, a beach town full of mystery and natural beauty. Now, I'm not really sure what the mystery behind this town is, but I think it'll be good to at least take a little bit of a look around. So they have a shipyard here. What is this shipyard for? Builds many ships important for the entire region. That's a little bit strange. Let's look around at some of these houses, though, because I want to make sure we get, if you know, if there's anything important here, I don't want to miss it, especially since we're coming really close to taking on the Elite Four. This is actually going to be our eighth and final gym here in the Lauren region. Which is really, really exciting. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what other challenges come at us as we're going into the Elite Four, you know, victory road that I'm assuming this region's gonna have and everything else to come. Let's go ahead and look at this house, though. There must be something important here. I'm trying to find at least a Pokemon they're giving to us, but it doesn't look like I can find one. If you trade an Onyx with a Metal Coat, you get a Steelix. I think we know all of these things. Let's make our way to the gym then because I don't feel like there's gonna be much else to do around this place. Or at least for now. So with that, guys, we have arrived at Iron Nem City's Pokemon Gym. We're going to be taking on its leader, Stella, the Steel-type trainer. Let's make our way inside then. And, oh, guess who it is? Our man, Bullcut, somehow magically appears here again. How's it going? Welcome to Iron Nem City's Gym. The leader, Stella, uses Steel Pokemon. Hint, use fire attacks to defeat her. Thanks, Bullcut. You seem to be just a natural genius at all this. So it looks like we're actually going to need to have Roku up in front. There's going to be a lot of Steel-type Pokemon coming up, so let's take on this first one. You know, the fun thing is that I only have 10 Fire Blows to use, and I just used two of them. I'm going to try to get through this gym with only using those eight. I know that's kind of like a 50-50, but I think it'll make it a little bit more exciting, even though it's probably going to be really difficult to take on the gym leader. But regardless, we're going to take on this person. All right, there we have it. There seems to be not much of a puzzle here this time. It looks to look... It looks to look. That's exactly what he lists. It looks just like a straightaway. So let's go ahead and take on this one. And he should be the last challenger. Okay, so I'm really hoping that was it. It's looking to me like it is. So with that, I can't read the sign this time. What is this? What? Wait, why are these signs here then? This is weird. This is actually a weird little like puzzly gym. I didn't know what to expect. But with that, guys, we are ready to take on 
Iron M City's gym leader, Stella, the steel type trainer. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Welcome to the last challenge of the Lauren League. I'm the leader of this gym, and you'll have to defeat my steel Pokemon to move on. Here we go, Rodri versus Stella, Iron M City's gym leader, the steel type trainer. Wow, she actually has purple pants and a purple headband. Well, that's kind of neat. With that, we're going to open up with Roku. And uh, I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Just because I like making things a little bit more difficult on us. Also, they finally... What the fudge? Okay, I thought that was going to do a little bit more. Oh, no. I'm not going to use a revive for this one either, guys. I'm, I'm going to try to make sure we don't have to use any revives or potions from now on. But, as you can see... The Pokemon have finally caught up in levels to us. So from here on out in this point, all the gym leaders and everybody we go up against will probably have higher Pokemon this than us, which I'm looking forward to. I also don't think I'm going to be doing any training on our Pokemon. I'm going to leave them at the levels they are now, going through the Elite Four and the Champion. Because honestly, I have faith in our Pokemon and I believe that at these levels, we can pretty much beat anyone that comes at us. With that though, the last Pokemon is going to be a Metagross. And this actually turned out to be a much easier gym. A Metagross level 78. Definitely very strong. Oh no, it's going for an Iron Defense. You know what? I still think Fire Blow will take it down. So I'm not too concerned about it. Let's go ahead and take it down then. And with that, guys, have we done it? It looks like we have. And with that, we have defeated this gym leader. Very nice. We gained a bunch of XP. We defeated leader Stella. I see you have extraordinary potential. We got 3120 for winning, and now you can face Lauren's Elite Four because you've earned the eight badges of the Lauren League. Here's the final badge. With that, guys, we have obtained the eighth out of eight badges here in the Lauren region. No more to go. We got the Iron Badge. With the Iron Badge, you can use Whirlpool outside of battle to pass little whirlpools in oceans or lakes to reach inaccessible places. With that, we obtain TM12. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's Whirlpool, and we're probably going to be needing it coming up. Any Whirlpool that blocks your path, good luck in your Lauren League Challenge. Our Elite Four is one of the most powerful in the world. This is the last gym that you have to face. From here on out, you'll have to test your strength against the Lauren Elite Four. So very nice, guys. Good battle, Metagross. And with that, guys, we have obtained our eighth badge, and we are ready to make our way to the Elite Four. That's actually very exciting because I feel like we've been waiting for this for quite a while, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the challenges that come making our way to the Elite Four. I don't really know what's coming up. We haven't used Water Pulse yet. Yeah, I'll probably see you at the Elite Four at this rate. See you, Bull Cut. As I was saying, we haven't used Water Pulse yet. And now we also have Whirlpool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and bring out Goof just in case. Because I think we're going to need to teach him those TMs to progress further in this game. But with that, guys, we're going to wrap things up here for today. So leave me some comments. I really need to figure out where we go from here and what's coming up. So make sure you guys leave me some tips. Give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.